Candace and I are headed to uh, our therapy, our couples therapy session right now. And I had an idea that I wanted to talk to you about and get your opinion on. We're thinking about doing a podcast, a Casey and Candace podcast that's like, I don't know, like an hour long or half an hour long or something, and calling it, the title's the best part, calling it Therapy, where it's just us talking. Are you, is there already not a podcast named Therapy? There probably is, but we can just make ours bigger and better and then crush the competition. So let us know what you think. Like, if that's a terrible idea, just write terrible idea below. Or if you'd be interested at all. Well, the only thing is that I'm tired of hearing the comments that I'm such a, like, bitch and a dud. And I think people... at therapy now but that's the idea um, let us let us know what you think we finished therapy how do you think today went I feel like we need another hour just on that topic today in therapy we talked about having more children and whether or not we want to move to California We should do the podcast. I would like to. So long. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, you're taking your clothes off? The new Billy Cashmere sweater. Oh. Nice boxy cut. Go to Billy, lovebillynyc.com and buy Candace's new cashmere sweater. It's a little expensive for my audience, honey. $180 for pure cashmere? Please. Bye, honey. Great girl, great girl. Check this out, ready? I wanna, I wanna show this to you. So you got, a, you got a screw here, you got a string here, and on the other end there's like this pin that can be used to remove SIM cards. I have permanently attached this to my desk. Now this may seem like I'm nothing, but you know, I, I change cell phones all the time, and getting that little SIM tray out is a nightmare on my phone here when I want to get my memory card out to offload all the videos and stuff. It's hard to get out and I can never find this thing. And now look, it just lives here. I don't know, this is exciting for me. I'm gonna be premiering a new video that I made that I've been working on for a long time. I'm gonna like put it in this vlog, it's like a four minute video, it's gonna be part of this vlog. See, one thing I wanna do a lot more of uh, on this channel is talk about creators, other creators that I really like, that I think you should follow, that I think maybe you'll be interested in. And the video that I made is about my friend Chantel, who you've seen in this show before, and she just started YouTubing. So I wanna premiere her new movie on my channel, even though it's gonna live on her channel. I want to use this channel and I want to use like this big audience that, that this channel has to talk about smaller creators. She's brand new, she doesn't have any subscribers. And to talk about other people that I think are doing amazing things on this platform um, and try to sort of elevate them a little bit, shine a little spotlight on them. Were you trapped outside? I was trapped outside. I'm so okay. sorry. Did you turn off the buzz? I turn off the buzz, but it should still work. <laughs> So this is uh, this is my friend Chantel. Chantel is a fine artist. Do you do you go by that? Visual artist, artist, fine artist. And the reason why I like Chantel so much as an art, the reason why I like her as a person is because she's cool. The reason why I like her as an artist is because her only instrument, her only I actually have one of your pen. Her entire art career was built with a pen, just a pen. Look, this is this is my apartment. And then this is, I have one of Chantel's paintings in my apartment, that's Francine, in my apartment. A couple years ago I had a studio here, but we were friends before that, yeah. She had one of the best studios. She had one of the studios in this building that had a skylight. You almost took it. 
I was gonna take it. It's just like four <laughs> flights away. I don't want to go up all those stairs. I've always wanted to make a movie about Chantel and her artwork and, and who she is because she's such an interesting human being. And we were kind of given the excuse actually from Sam's. Whoops. Oh, you got a sticker there too. Oh, yeah, this is one of Chantel's stickers. Um, we were given the opportunity because of Samsung, you know, part of their like creator, creator initiative is enabling us to make movies and they were willing to sort of produce a Casey Neistat movie about Chantel Martin. And I'm going to premiere that movie. I'm wondering where I should drop it. Let me finish. Let's finish. Okay, let's, we'll finish. And then it'll play. Cool. I'm reviving my old YouTube channel that I started probably 10, 11, 12 years ago, right at the beginning. And it's, I forgot I had it actually. One thing that I will say about Chantel is she is fearless about trying new things. It's like I see everything as a blank canvas, so you shouldn't be afraid of it. You should flip that switch and then just use it as a challenge and create whatever you want. How did you meet Kendrick Lamar? It's dope. In Miami last year. How did you meet Puff Daddy? He came to a show I had a few years ago. He probably doesn't remember. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I'm good. This is the world YouTube premiere of a Chantel by Casey video. It's like three minutes long, but I'm really excited. You're the first people to see this ever. Ready? Three, two, one. Boop. So what's the point in making art? The point is to make so you can share. So you make and share and you make and share and you make and share. I'm Chantel Martin and I draw. I'm drawing on canvases, I'm drawing on walls, I'm drawing on cars, I'm drawing on shirts, I'm drawing on shoes. 99% of that is done live. When you're drawing live, you have no time to think, you have no time to hesitate, you have no time to plan. You have no time to be anyone else. So this is the cover of the, uh, the home and garden section. And it's, it's funny, I didn't know it was a big deal at the time, so I, I only bought one copy. So if you have an extra spare copy out there, I'd take it. I remember my art teacher telling me, Chantel, don't apply for art school because you're not good enough and you won't get in. At that point, people were only telling me what I couldn't do, so I ran away. I started my career in Japan in a culture that was craft-based, in a culture where people learn things and practice things over generations, over long periods of time. And I remember thinking to myself, what can I master in my lifetime? What could I become profoundly confident with? What about a line? You know, I draw, I love drawing. We all draw. So with these and these, I'm going to draw like this. What kind of hard work and patience would it take so that when I draw a line, it is recognizably mine. Moving to York was very humbling because if no one knows who you are, they don't care who you are. And everyone is an artist. And you start to lose yourself. You start to lose your way. And so I decided, well, I'm not going to not make art because you won't show it. I'm going to draw and make the world my canvas. And I'm going to use any drawing tool that I can get my hands on. I'm going to draw and 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 I'm going to share and 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 Just give me a pen and I'll make something. You follow the pen and you allow it to flow and you allow it to go wherever it needs to go, wherever it wants to take you. You are a willing passenger. And now you repeat that, and you repeat that, and you repeat that, and you repeat that. But over time, you get to extract what you look like. Over time, you get to extract what your line feels like. Something that is recognizably yours. We have this contact between our head and our hand. And it doesn't matter what industry you're in. It comes down to drawing. It comes down to that initial mark that you make. And without this pen, I wouldn't have traveled. I wouldn't have collaborated. This tool has allowed me to discover who I am. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs>
Did you like our movie? We worked really, we worked really hard on that. I hope you enjoyed it. What are you most nervous about when it comes to being a YouTuber? I think what I'm most nervous about is continuously making and sharing and you know pulling out stuff that I'm proud of and pulling out stuff that you're proud of too. You make and you share and you make and you're you gonna make and share, make and share, make and share, make and share. Alright, I'm gonna link Chantel's channel before below. Check it out. She's new, there's not a lot of stuff up there yet, but it's it's happening. I'm a big supporter and a huge, huge fan, and I hope you guys will. But you should sell those stickers. You could bankroll your entire YouTube. Sticker packs coming soon. Coming soon.